And now for more on this story, we're now joined by Free State Premier Mkulisi Dukwana spokesperson Silo Ditebe, and he joins us via our Zoom link. Uh, Silo, let's start here. Of course, we've seen that the EFF has filed a motion of no confidence over uh, the province's uh, total expenditure of 3.5 million rand on the funeral of Tate Macho. What is your immediate response uh, as the Premier's office? Well, a so-called no-confidence vote against the Premier at the moment, from our vantage point, remains a runner. Why am I saying that? It's because it has not as yet reached us formally, because um, it can only reach us after the Speaker of the Legislature has carefully considered the content of such a motion uh, and determined whether it is in keeping with the rules of the House and besides that, the House is on recess until September this year. So uh, we are basically being asked to respond to something that has not as yet formally reached the office of the Premier. Uh, but out of respect for the media and the right of the public to know uh, what the uh, views of the office of the Premier are on this matter, we have agreed to this interview. Mm. Uh, so you are saying that there has been no formal process which has been carried out, but one would still ask, 3.5 million rand being spent on a funeral, surely uh, there's something wrong with that amount? Well, you will probably know that we issued a statement as soon as this matter uh, came up, uh, and uh, the then acting premier, Mr. Ketso Makwume, uh, directed that the Auditor General and the Provincial Treasury should go into detail and investigate what exactly happened. So while awaiting that, we hear this rumor of a no-confidence vote by this political party that you've mentioned. Uh, so it is not as if nothing is being done. You have to appreciate that the Auditor General which is a very, very important Chapter 9 institution, does a whole lot of work, not only in terms of national departments doing public audit exercises, but provincial departments and other entities as well as municipalities. So it is very, very competent to determine what actually happened there. So that's what the Office of the Premier has done, a very responsible thing. And the Premier is quite happy about the step. But do you agree that uh, 3.5 million rand seems uh, uh, to be quite an exorbitant amount of money uh, to be spending for, uh, for a funeral? Do you agree that uh, this is wasteful, a wasteful expenditure? Well, any response to this question would be premature because we have full confidence not only in our provincial treasury to carry out this investigation, but most importantly in the Auditor General of South Africa, because um, the Auditor General's place is enshrined in the Constitution. So um, as to whether it was um, a prohibitively uh, obscene amount, etc., that is something that will be determined by the Office of the Auditor General. Um, but most importantly, the Premier has acted transparently, correctly to say, look, uh, you know, we, we are open to uh, this matter being investigated, and that has been done. Are you saying that this move uh, by the EFF, which you say that uh, uh, the legislature currently is on recess, uh, this move of them wanting to have uh, this motion of no confidence holds no weight uh, in regards uh, to the, uh, the uh, total amount of money that they are questioning? Well, what I am saying is that <laughs> At the moment, it remains just part of the grapevine. It's part of the Roma mill because it has not reached the office of the Premier. And as, as I said in the beginning, the reason simply is that the office of the Speaker of the Legislature and not the office of the Premier is the one that is authorized to determine whether this motion in the first place can be debated in the provincial legislature. That's the first thing. And the second thing, of course, is that the legislature is on recess. So it's only that office that can determine whether this motion complies with the set criteria 
rules that govern the house. So um, it can only be entertained at that point. So it doesn't mean that the, the Premier precludes the possibility of having this matter debated, but at the moment, formally, it has not been presented to us. So as I said, it's really out of respect for the media and the right of people uh, to be informed about what government is doing all the time. So that's it. Are you insinuating that uh, the EFF might never uh, get to see uh, this motion being debated in the legislature? Is that what you're saying? Uh, sorry, repeat that again. I missed that. I was saying, are you insinuating? insinuating? Are you insinuating that uh, this uh, motion that the EFF says that uh, it will be tabling will never reach uh, the legislature? No, no. I'm not insinuating anything. I'm merely stating what criteria are used, the rules that govern the very house that that very party, which has members in that house, um, and has agreed to those rules, as and when it takes part in proceedings of the house. That's really all that I'm saying. And as I said, it is not up to the office of the Premier to determine whether the motion in question, if it exists at all, uh, will be debated at all. Because you will know um, that this happens all the time, even in the National Assembly, and the Speaker is authorized to determine, of course, on uh, account of sound legal advice, whether such a motion can be debated in the house that's really all that i'm saying so it, it processes aside processes aside which take place in uh the legislature what is the premier's view when it comes to the 3.5 million rand spent uh on uh, the funeral of the former late mec 3.5 million rand spent 1.2 million it says on just food alone and of course more than 300,000 rand spent on entertainment what is the view of the premier with the amount of money uh, which was used for the funeral the view of the premier is that he defers to the most supreme body which carries out public audit of government and so you were not concerned at all about the money which was spent especially uh when you look at the state of the province of the free state you are not concerned about the state of the roads you're not concerned about uh, the state of service delivery uh, in the free state province uh, when you look at that money spent Okay, if we have to talk about service delivery, we can talk about that separately. But I can assure you that that is something that the Premier and members of the Executive Council do all the time. Just one example, the Premier has agreed that Sunral must take over certain particular provincial routes so that they can be maintained. And there are various other amounts of money in Tabanju, in Guapa, in Maludapofum, which amounts of money will be used towards repairing roads, fixing portals, and all those kinds of things. And regularly the Premier consults with mayors, municipal managers, etc., to ensure that services are indeed delivered all right, to the so people. Long. But not only that. All right, uh, so unfortunately, we have indeed run out of time. So that is uh, Silo Ditebe, the spokesperson there uh, for the Free State Premier, who is um, Olisi Tukwana, speaking about uh, that motion of no confidence so that the EFF says that it will be tabling. Uh, but of course, uh, Silo there saying that uh, the correct processes still need to be followed as the legislature is currently on recess.